Hello YouTubers, it's Hammy Technoid here, and today we are going to do something special. Uh, it's like part two of the Tascam DA3000 video that I did last week. Uh, what happened was when I did the video last week, I got curious and I went back onto Tascam's website about the DA3000 and just checking around, I found out that there's a new firmware update. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to update the firmware. And you may be asking, what does that mean, Hammy Tech? What does that mean when you update the firmware? Well, a recorder such as the DA3000 or the SSR100, they run on uh, software. And, you know, it's called firmware because it's not really updatable by the user, or, or should I say it's uh, it is updatable by the user, but um, it's in there, and once it's in there, it's not supposed to be able to be touched, okay? So they call it firmware rather than software. And uh, what this new firmware does, it fixes issues that might be, might have cropped up during production or somebody was not paying attention when they coded it, and it caused some issues. So in this case, with the DA3000, it's supposed to fix some noise issues when you're recording in the high resolution mode. But one of the main things it fixes is because this needs to be updated with a compact flash drive. It can only be updated with a compact flash drive at present. But the new firmware permits it to be updated with also an SD card or a USB stick. Okay, so let's go through the procedure step by step and what you need to do to do your update. So first off, you go to Tascam.com, and that's where I am right now. I'm on Tascam.com. I'm on the DA3000 webpage there. See, DA3000, blah, blah. So there's DA3000, and you see up here, it's got headings, and the one you want to get is downloads. So you click on the download. And then this page opens up and see it says firmware. Well, I've already clicked on the firmware, so that's where we're at. We're at the firmware page. And you see there, it says firmware 2.02. That's the one we want. So you get your little mouse arrow there. You get on the mouse arrow. You click on the firmware 2.02. You go to this page and you get this. And you say, yes, save file. So I'm going to, I'm doing this with the wrong hand. So yeah, there we go. I gotta look through the save file. Okay, so it's saving file. I already saved it. Okay, so with that done, you go to the folder where you saved it. And I've got this folder here. This is where I saved it. And this file right here, this one with the arrow pointing to it, that's the one I need to put onto the compact flash. And the compact flash I'm using is one of these guys here. It's a transcend. Reader, writer, and I'm using a SanDisk compact flash. Okay, so that's the one that's going into the DA3000 to accomplish the update. So right now, I haven't put it into the compact flash. We're going to do that next, okay? So to do that, you go back to the folder. You bring up another folder that is the DA3000 compact flash, and you see it says nothing there. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this file, this one and drag and drop it over here okay and we drag and drop and it put it in there and now it's there okay so now everything is done here that we need to do on the computer and now we're going to go to the DA3000 itself and we will do the update so here we are back in front of the DA3000 as you see and I haven't turned it on yet I just want to show you that the old firmware is still in there. We're going to watch it boot up. Turned it on now. Press the power switch. And there it says Tascam DA3000 version 1.11. And that's what's in there now. And you can see pressing the info button. It shows 48 uh, kilohertz internal. And that's, that has nothing to do with the version. So what you saw there was the old version. And now I'm going to prepare it for the new version. And to do that, the instructions say, turn off the power, and then go over here to the little opening, and then you insert 
the compact flash and you do it very carefully okay compact flash is inserted and now to do the update it says hold pause and record together the pause and the record you hold them together so I'm going to push them together and then you turn on the power and now you watch what happens okay see that says firmware update start update and there's the file it shows the file and to start the update I press this button here and there we are are you sure yes I'm sure so press the button again and it's erasing and writing erasing writing erasing and writing okay so you see this is happening in real time right now and one thing you do not want to do while this is happening is have the power interrupted do not turn off the power do not have it in a situation where the power can be accidentally shut down and it says update complete compare 100 percent i'm going to press the button again because i think i'm supposed to doesn't say there we go update complete compare 100 percent firmware update compare 100 percent so i think it's done i'm pretty sure it's done so at this point, the instructions say turn off the power and re uh, you know restart. So I'm going to turn off the power. And I'm going to take out the compact flash, which is that button right there. Let me pull that out. And we're going to turn the power back on, see what happens. Task M. DA. Ah, there it is. 2.02. We're good to go. We are good to go. So that was it. We're done. The update is done and it's version 2.02. .02. And when you update your firmware and you got the newest version, it's like everybody in your neighborhood has the same car, but you got the newest one. So yeah, there you go. So until next week, see you later.